Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here and welcome back to the Black Ops 3 Mod Tools tutorial series. So then, in this video, we're going to be adding in a loading screen and a preview image into the map. So these are the images that, of course, you know, as you're actually loading into the map, you'll see uh, full screen. Um, that just sort of show um, as the actual map itself is loading. Um, and of course, the preview image is the small image that, well, smaller image that you see when you're sort of choosing which map to be playing. Uh, and then once you've selected it, it's normally in the bottom left corner as well. Um, so th those are the two images. They are set up slightly differently. One has a little bit extra than the other, but they are quite uh, quite simple anyway. So, of course, if you already have an image, that's great. Uh, I'm just going to open up my Black Ops 3 root directory, go down to user maps, go over to my, my, uh, my map name, which in this case, I'm just going to be using my test map. Go over to zone. And in here, you'll find two images. They are both PNGs. You need to keep them as PNGs. So if you do wish to uh, make your own image completely, which I often do, uh, just make sure you keep them as, uh, as PNGs. Uh, in this case, I've kept the white images. I've just put some text on them. By default, these are completely just white uh, images. There's nothing else to them. Um, but yeah, um, all of them in this case is I've put the text loading into this one and this one preview, just so we know which one's which. Um, I typically will uh, completely replace this image, um, keeping the 16 by nine sort of aspect ratio for both of them. Um, and just overwriting them. Um, I prefer to do that. So once you get your images themselves set up, um, obviously you can just edit these as I have done, if you wish. Um, we're kind of almost there actually. Um, make, making sure that the um, actual file name themselves do, does not change though, that's very important. Um, all we need to do now is open up Ape. So from the launcher, we can open up Ape. And what we're going to do here is for the actual preview image, all you really have to do is overwrite that file with your own image. Um, but for the actual loading screen itself, it needs a little bit more, uh, a little bit more work. So what we're going to do is over an eight, we're going to go down here to name. I'm just going to type in black. There we go. That took a weird amount of time to uh, actually type. Uh, and all we're going to do is, uh, I think it's in code, I believe. Yeah, cool. So in the code uh, GDT, you find this black. And all it is, is an image, uh, not the one with the blue circle, the one with the actual image itself. You'll see the, you see it as a uh, image up here anyway. So make sure there's, it's not like um, dollar black, it's just black. Once you get this, you can basically just switch out the text from here. Now the one we're going to be using is our loading image. So we've effectively got to overwrite the black image, which is used on the loading screen. Uh, with ours. So to do this, all you really do is over down here, you've got texture. Uh, of course, I'm using one for my own map at the moment. So if I just click on the three dots, go back to user maps, uh, I'll go into the map I'm actually using. You do have to do this, by the way, for each map. So if you are working on two maps, uh, sort of at the same time, just before you sort of release it, you're, you're going to want to do this step. Uh, of course, if you're only working on one map at a time, each time you do a new project, make sure you update this. Um, it does need to be done uh, each time. And hence why I've, said I've got update it here from Manor. So I'm going to go into zone. I'm going to change this to be PNG. And I'm going to select the loading image. And open up that. You can see it's updated to be the image that I... Uh, very creatively <laughs> edited earlier. So once we've got that, that's almost done. Uh, we're going to save that. I don't know why eight feels really slow today. Uh, okay, so I can close that down. Uh, next, what we need to do is add this to our zone file. So to do this, we're going to go into our map name uh, folder. We'll go over to zone source and open up our map name dot zone. I've got it open up over here though. There we go. Uh, and all we're going to do is add one line. Um, I will leave this in the description as well. So it's going to be image, comma, and then just black. So that's the image that we've just edited. We're now going to bring it into our map via the .zone file. We're going to save that. 
Next, what we need to do is go and comment out one line of code. So over to uh, our roots, we're going to go down to zone source. We'll go to all, go to asset list, what's well, the only folder in there, I guess. Uh, and in here, you'll find core underscore GFX. I'll find it. There we go. So core underscore GFX. I'm just going to right click and edit this. Just bring this over. Um, cool. So in here, we're going to kind of just do what we just did in our zone file somewhat. Uh, but instead of adding wave removing. So I'm just going to find, just because it's easier. I'm just going to find block. Um, it's actually going to be, in fact, yeah, I'll find black. And no, we'll do image just in case there's, there's going to be more than one. So do that. There we go. And you can see we have this image black. Now, the difference between mine and yours right now will be you will not have these double forward slashes at the start. This is what you need to be doing. So all you need to do is it's going to be like this. And all you do is add two forward slashes before the word image uh, and then save it. And that is all that's needed. So that's just going to comment it out and allow us to override it. So we can now save that. Uh, that is all the steps that's needed. We can now go into our launcher. We can, of course, just do your normal sort of map compile uh, as such. Uh, and then I'm going to load into the game once this is compiled um, and show uh, everything working, including the menus as well. Okay, so over in the menu, you can see we have the ZM test option down here. We've got the preview image um, that was kind of thrown together. <laughs> uh, so now once we click on ZM test, uh, we should see the loading image. Uh, and then once you give this obviously a little bit of time, uh, you will load into game. So wait for it to happen and I'll, uh, that was a lot quicker than I thought actually. Nice. And as you can see, everything works nicely. Cool. So that's been how to add in a nice, uh, loading screen and preview image, uh, to your maps. Any questions, of course, leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll do my best to help you guys there. But other than that, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.